So you're the same type of Christian? You're not influenced uh, to believe in that you're an Israelite? Why not? What you don't want to ask? You said you're just Christian. So did your ancestors come over here on slave ships? I have no idea. So you don't know the history of your own people? So what is your race? What's your nationality? Just black. Just black? Yes. What about your father? Black. Just black? Yes. Is he African American too? Yes. So yeah, he will be uh, probably more likely from uh, these people will probably be brought over here on slave ships as well. Yeah. So can we get a uh, so the most high God he taught us, he told us who we were coming out here to talk to, talk to about. Let me get Isaiah chapter one. So our people have a hard time understanding who they are for a reason. Let me get Jeremiah 17 and uh, verse 4. Right? The book of Isaiah. Let me get that Jeremiah 17 verse 4. This is Jeremiah 17 verse 4. Yeah. Now, and thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage. So he means you're going to be cut off from your inheritance. You're going to be discontinued. You're going to forget who you are. So there's a, a process of remembering who you are. You're supposed to remember who you are, or at least desire to remember. You're supposed to want to remember who you are and then come back to serve the Lord in spirit and in truth. Do you know how to serve and worship God in spirit and in truth? How do you do that? church on Wednesday. I step over here a little bit. I'm just a steward. I should say, she's a steward. Just a steward. So, serving the Most High God in spirit and in truth. You're going to have a relationship with God, right? So, we get uh, John, 1 John chapter uh, 2 and verse 2, I believe, is what I want. Bring it out. So, we're going we're gonna to show you how to have a relationship. The Bible actually shows you how to have a relationship. It's more than just being a steward. You actually have to know. It tells you to remember. It says to bethink yourself. Remember who you used to be. And come back and serve God in spirit and in truth. That's what the book actually tells you. Let's go ahead and get that. The book of 1 John, chapter 2, and verse 3. Bring it out. And hereby do we know that we know him. Uh -huh. If we, we keep, keep his commandments. commandments. So it says, read that again for me. And hereby we do know that we know him. So if you ever have somebody that says, oh, I know God, the, the New Testament teaches you how if somebody really knows that they know God. So this is how you can identify if someone really knows God. Read that again. And hereby we do know that we know him. This is how we do know that we know him now. If we, we keep, keep his, his commandments. commandments. How was that? If we keep his, his commandments. commandments. So how do you know you know God? Just by being a steward. Just by being a steward. Cupping yourself in the word of God, doing the Bible study, and going to church on Sunday is for appropriate fellowship. Do you believe the scripture in the New Testament? Absolutely. So do you, do you, uh, do you know God? I'm getting to know God. So do you keep God's commandments? Because he said, this is how you know if someone knows God, if they keep his commandments. I'm trying to. Do you know any of his commandments? The Ten Commandments? Sure. For sure. We can start off with that. Do you know any of his Ten Commandments? What is it? Who? The Most High God's Ten Commandments. Do you know any of them? Not all of them. You know some of them. Can I ask you of which ones do you know? Oh, don't kill. Don't steal. Don't commit adultery. So you know there's more than just those ten. Right, the Bible, but that comes with knowing the Bible. That comes with knowing the Bible, right? So I want to encourage you to come to know a little bit more about this law statement. Right. Because there's over six hundred. There's over six hundred commandments. Somebody might say that that's a lot, but here in just Tulsa, Oklahoma, there's over two hundred. There's over two thousand laws that you have to keep just in Tulsa, Oklahoma. So 600 compared to 2,000 ain't much. It's not really much. And then the more that is required, more that you have, the more that's required. Of you. Can we give her another law? Uh, let's get uh, anyone that y'all want to pull from. Anyone. Because these laws, this is how you know if you know God. If a, let's, let's get uh, numbers. Go ahead, you can get that. 
This the book of Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 7. Bring it out. And the swine, though he divide By the, the hoof. hoof and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cud, he, he is, is unclean to you. Do you know what that's talking about? You know what a swine is? Huh? A pig. So it says, read it again. And the swine, though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cud. He, he is, is unclean, unclean to you. Of, of their, their flesh shall ye not eat. eat. So we're not supposed to eat pork according to the laws of God. That may be, I don't know. Well, that's the laws. Hey, so hold on. Hold on. What do you mean? You don't know? I didn't mean, know. Mean, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that the New Testament? So the New Testament told you to keep the laws of God. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
the will of, so here in America, we don't understand what royalty looks like, really. We have a democracy, meaning we can vote somebody in, can vote somebody out. When you're under a kingdom, you can't do that. Another thing in the kingdom, whatever the king says is law. So this is this is a book of of the Eastern, it's an Eastern culture. So we have a hard time understanding Eastern culture, right? Just like calling your husband Lord. Our Ameri women in America would never do that. They have a very hard time calling my husband Lord because they don't understand what an Eastern culture means about that. We have a sense of pride when we do something like that. So to get a good understanding of what they're actually meaning, you gotta come and study to learn the laws of God. So he has a custom for you, your inheritance for you to come back to get to know him a little bit better. So the custom and the heritage for you is that you would have to wear a dress. You would have to know what the Sabbath day is. You would have to know how to keep it holy. You would have to know how to worship him in spirit and in truth. These are things that you would have to know how to do. Because this is found in Christ kept the Sabbath day. Do you know what day the Sabbath day is? Saturday. So do you worship God on the Sabbath day? So you, that will be a sin. You'll be breaking God's laws. Found in the book of Exodus. It's like, was you about to go in the store? That's breaking the Sabbath day. Yeah. So, I, yes. Go ahead and press. We got to prepare before the Sabbath. They'll say, well, because they're not, they, they will say to themselves, we're not teaching the Bible. They say that the Israelites on the corners are actually teaching the Bible. So we're trying to encourage you and actually show you what the Bible, we don't want your money, we don't want this money, we don't want nobody's money. Why? We're not here. Seen anybody do that but, uh, so, but people have a tendency of passing the collection plate in the church. We're not doing that. We're not asking I've for your offer. Anybody. We're just wanting you to come to learn God yeah. in real, for real, God. for real. We don't want, we want you to get to the kingdom of heaven. That's right. our desire. That's right. You see what I'm saying? So the more of our people wake up, the more that we can get into the kingdom. So this is our desire. We don't, hey, he said in the book of Jeremiah, can you get that? He said he will raise a prophecy. This is what, this, this is a prophecy being fulfilled right in front of your face. This is really what's happening. We don't, we don't, we just want the best for you. That's all we want. We don't have an underhand, uh, anything. We don't have no sneaky manner about that. We don't even care if you came and congregate with us. We just want you to actually keep the laws of the Most High God. Let me get um, Revelation chapter 14. Verse 12, 14, 14, 12. Let me get that. <laughs> the book of Revelation. Um, yeah, this verse. Yeah. Uh, what's that? What's that scripture? Uh, give me a raise up. Uh, Revelation Or you raise up prophets after it's on earth. Uh, no, 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 no. It's not good about YouTube. Why y'all looking for that? Let's get this. The book of uh, Revelation, chapter 14, verse 12. Bring it up. This is New Testament again. Go ahead. Here is the patience of the saints. Who are we talking about? Here is the patience of the saints. We're talking about the saints right now. Let's hear what the saints are going to be doing. Here are they that keep, keep the, the commandments, commandments of God. They're going to do what? Keep, keep the, the commandments, commandments of God. God. What are the saints going to be doing? Keep, keep the, the commandments, commandments of God. God. And what else? And the faith of Jesus. This is all we're asking. For you to keep the commandments of God and the faith of Christ. That's it. That's not hard, right? But our people don't know the, the commandments of God. They'll know them. Some of them might know some of them, but then they won't do them. So we're trying to encourage you to be a saint of God by keeping the commandments of God Jeremiah. and having the faith yep. of Christ. All right? You got it? Go ahead. This is Jeremiah 3, verse 15. And, and I will give you pastors according to mine heart. What do what you say? And I will give you pastors yeah, according, according to mine heart. Go ahead. We shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. This is all we're trying to do. We're trying to feed you with knowledge and understanding. We don't want nothing from you. We just want to give you the word of God. That's it. You know what I'm saying? So we, to be to be a good steward is to be responsible for something. That's right. Now yeah. you have the responsibility. Now you have something that you are supposed to be responsible for, which is you and your household. Knowing that the Sabbath day, knowing that the Sabbath day is on Saturday, you got to know how to keep that. 
gotta learn how to do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully, do you have any questions for us? So do you know who you are for Hey, so can I ask you a question? No, I, like, I'm, I'm watching. Do you think that you're doing good enough as of now to make it to the US? Huh? That's all you gotta do is just help. It's good progress now. Well, okay. Uh, we gotta keep the law of Texas in mind. One more scripture, sis. I want to give you this. Because you talked about getting into the kingdom of heaven. Do you know how to get into the kingdom of heaven? By being a good student. What does that look like? That's Yeah, that's a good question. Just church on Wednesdays? Just going to church on Wednesdays? I go on Sundays. I used to go on Saturdays, but I don't go to church on the Lord anymore. Uh, and keeping the commandments and living in your church. So, do you, do you think that will get you into the kingdom of heaven? I don't know if it's enough, but I'm going to try. Have they taught you how to get into the kingdom of heaven? I don't really know about that. So, we want to teach you real quick one scripture. One scripture we're going to teach you how to get into the kingdom of heaven. Christ is going to teach you actually how to get into the kingdom of heaven. The book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 16. You're all out. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good things shall I do? That, that I may, may have, have eternal, eternal life. Eternal life is the kingdom of heaven. Do you agree? Yeah. So uh, a man came unto Christ and said, Good master, what can I do to get to the kingdom of heaven? Because you're going to get sick. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? Christ said, Why do you call me good? There is none good but one. Right. That, that is God. God. We're, not, we're not going to touch on that point. Go ahead. But if thou wilt enter into life, you want to get into the kingdom of heaven, what do you got to do, Christ? Keep, Keep the, the commandments. commandments. Keep, Keep the, the commandments. What did our Lord and Savior say? Keep, Keep the, the commandments. commandments. Christ pointed you to the commandments of God, just like the saints pointed you to the commandments of God and having faith, right? So in order for you to get into the kingdom of heaven, what you got to do? That's what the Bible says, right? All praise, all praise. Let's give our hands all praise. Do you mind if we give you a flyer, sis? Oh, I already have one, I'm sure. You have one from us? You know who we are? From the guys in the purple? No, we're not from the purple. So we're sons of Jacob. Okay. Sure. Uh, okay, so if you got any other questions, if you want to learn a little bit more about the laws of God and what you got to do to get into the kingdom of heaven, what does this look like? Because as a steward, you should be wanting to, this should be all in you to want to know you as much as you can to being a steward of God, right? right. So we want to encourage you and hopefully you can get more understanding about the laws that you have to keep, especially because you got laws as a woman that you have to keep. Yeah, There's a purification. You got to separate yourself every so many days from your husband. You see what I'm saying? A lot of our women don't do that. They don't know that. So there's things that's important for you to know. So God is going to judge you based off of his laws. When he opens those books, the, one of those books are going to be, are you keeping his laws? Did you hearken unto the men that I sent to tell you they didn't want nothing from you, but to give you the knowledge of God, did you receive it? Are you doing it? So we're going to be out there. We're going to be seeing if you're a real steward. Right? So the next time we see you, I hope you weren't addressed. I hope you keep it Sabbath day only. I hope you're being obedient to the laws of God. That's right. Thank you, sis. I appreciate it.